Do you ever have an idea and it gets a little carried away? Yeah, me too. This is episode 42 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This morning's been a little crazy. I had an idea. I thought it was going to be kind of a small idea. And like five hours later, here I am. So when I was distributing my episode 41, which was the Loch Ness Monster, if you didn't see it, it was about Ryan Lochte. When I was distributing it throughout the various interweb pages and everything, I noticed that People are freaking weird and people are taking this whole peen and line thing like 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 he freaking killed somebody. I'm looking at, you know, Lochte going on all these shows and saying how sorry he is and da 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 and all this stuff. And he should do that and he should be sorry. I mean, he should be sorry for just for being stupid in a in in embarrassing like the swim team and really embarrassing those and really putting those those his teammates in like a really awkward situation. But let's just keep in mind that he peed and he lied. That's it. I've been thinking about, um, you remember that old press conference with Allen Iverson? And he's just like, we're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. We're not talking about the game. We're talking about practice. That's my Allen Iverson impression, by the way. So that's what I feel like when we're, when we're I'm, ta- I'm thinking, or uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking when, when I'm looking at this. I'm going, we're talking about Peen and line? Peen and line. We're not talking about anything major. We're talking about peen and line? And that's my impersonation of Alan Iverson if you were talking about this. Anyways, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to do Lochte a solid. I'm going to offer my services to him for $200,000. And I am going to take this whole mess and I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to make it awesome. So this is my solution to Ryan Lochte's PR disaster if I were his new manager. You ready? Here we go. So the first thing he's going to do is he's going to go on the late night tour, okay? And he's going to make fun of himself because we're talking about peeing and we're talking about lying. So this is what he's going to do. The late show, he's going to pee on stuff. Or he's going to pretend to pee on stuff. So he'll go on Conan, pretend to pee. He's going to go on Colbert, pretend to pee. He's going to go on Jimmy Fallon, pretend to pee. He's going to go on The Late Late Show, pretend to pee. And he's going to do that. And then he's going to tell some like blatant kind of funny lies. Like, oh, I, I wasn't peeing. I was just looking. Or... I, I can't even go pee. I have a urinary Im- issue. Or when he gets caught, he'll be like, oh, oh, look, an, an elephant. And then he'll run away. And he'll talk about having to leave. And he'll talk about having to go home. And he'll run away and he'll be dribbling and zipping up his pants. Like stuff like that. Like funny stuff. What happens when it goes on the late show? It becomes a little clip. It goes on YouTube. It goes on Instagram. It goes on Twitter. It goes viral. Ha ha, Ryan Lochte is making fun about peen because we're just talking about peen. He's lost all of his sponsors, so he's going to need new sponsors. And I think the most obvious new sponsors are companies that that specialize in bathroom stuff. Stuff to do with going to the bathroom. So there could be Ryan Lochte urinal cakes. So you could see Ryan Lochte in every bathroom in the United States. Or the world. This he did do this at the Olympics, so this could be pretty popular. Maybe I'm sure these urinal cakes would be very popular in Brazil. You could pee on Ryan Lochte the way he peed on your floor. Funny? I think so. Uh, there could be Ryan Lochte toilet paper. There could be Ryan Lochte like those little pee pads for pets, you know? Just in case you have an accident on your kitchen floor or your bedroom floor. Or your gas station, whatever. You can roll with it. This is funny, remember? We're making a joke out of this. We're making light of 
a situation that really should be more light than people are treating it. I think one of the best ones that he could do is for Depends. He could come out and say, look, if I had been wearing Depends that night, I could have just peed in my pants. And with the super absorbency and comfort that Depends gives me, I would feel comfortable, relieved, and dry the way every American wants to feel. Isn't that perfect? Hard alcohol. Obviously, drinking was involved in this. I think hard alcohol would be a, a perfect sponsor for this. I think about the David Tell bit where he talks about, he gives all these crazy scenarios for these all these crazy things that happened like the night before. And then at the end of each story, he goes, Jaeger. So I think Jaegermeister would be a perfect sponsor for Ryan Lochte. You know, I mean, his story is like perfect. I got so wasted. I peed all over the floor. I got a gun pulled on me. I lost 400 bucks. I had to flee the country. Jaeger. Is that perfect? Come on. That's perfect. How about like a, um, he could get sponsored by a hotel. He could do like a residency in Las Vegas. Like maybe he does a residency at Caesar's Palace and for two weeks. And then the big, the big fountains and stuff that they have out front, maybe they dye them yellow for when he's there. That'd be pretty funny. I think people would put, take lots of pictures of that and spread it everywhere, viral over the internet and stuff. These are the kind of things we need to do. Me, Lochte, me and you, bud, we need to, we need to team up and make this happen. Let's, let's flip this around. Remember, we're having fun here, people. Pee pee and lies. Pee pee and lies. That's all we're talking about. Piss and lies and pissing on the bathroom floor. He didn't pee on anybody. All right. He didn't pee on, he just peed on the floor. We all pee on the floor. So here comes like the humanitarian part of it because he needs to do some fundraising. I'm thinking that he starts a nonprofit called Tinkletorium. Now, although Tinkletorium is a very cute name, I can't take credit for that. My seventh grade girlfriend came up with that. So Amanda, hi, Tinkletorium. I still remember it all these years later. So it was obviously good. So Tinkletorium is the nonprofit to build toilets in third world countries and plumbing and all that stuff. So kids and people aren't doing their laundry in their own piss and crap and their their water supply is not tainted with everybody's doo-doo from like the village up and everybody's pee-pee from the village up. And how's he going to promote this? This is the best part. So for $1,000, Ryan Lochte will come to your house and he will pee with you. You can pee with you. He can pee in your kitchen. He can pee in your bathroom. Maybe you have like the most disgusting bathroom ever and he can pee in that and he can gross him out and he can like look like he's going to throw up and gag and stuff. But $1,000, 100% of the proceeds go directly towards Tinkletorium so people can pee and flush their poo-poo and flush their pee-pee and not have it go into the water supply. Tinkletorium, Ryan Lochte, changing the world. I mean, you do stuff like that Man, you're going on Oprah. All right? Be careful with the whiz, but you, man, you're going on Oprah, bro. Things are going to happen. So to promote all this stuff, so he's going on Oprah, he's talking about this. So to promote it, he does a world tour. He pee pees, quote unquote, air quotes, pees on the wonders of the world. He pees on the Eiffel Tower. He pees on the Great Wall of China. He pees on Stonehenge. He pees on Machu Picchu. He pees on the Taj Mahal, not the guitarist, the place. He pees on the Great Pyramids. You know what? It'll be a whole world tour. We'll call it Lochte Pees World Tour. I think it's a beautiful thing, especially because all that money raised is going to go towards cleaning it up in third world countries. What's better than that? So my point of this whole thing is just to shed some light for you guys that are taking this so seriously, Lochte's an ass, but he just pissed and lied. You guys are talking about throwing him in prison. Who should send him back to Brazil? I, I actually read, you should send him back to Brazil and make him go to prison for pissing on the freaking floor, for lying. Come on. So if you take a step back and reflect just a little bit on where you're at, if you're that angry at Ryan Lochte for pissing on a freaking floor in Rio... Unless you're the gas attendant, you shouldn't be that mad. And you know what? It probably happened 30 other times that night with all the other drunk people in Rio. So there's probably a lot of pee-pee mixed in there. And even he's not this mad. 
But if you take a step back, like the media basically for like a week has been telling you to be pissed off. So are you really pissed off? Or are you are you allowing the media to pull your strings and get you pissed off? Like how can you be that mad about somebody peeing on in a gas station and lying about it? Because he made an ass of himself, you're mad? Who gives a crap? If you get that worked up over Ryan Lochte pissing in line, man, you need some freaking serious work on yourself because it is not that big of a deal at all. Unless he peed on you, it is not that big of a deal. And all these people like Al Roker is just going off and Fox News is just going off. Oh my God, it's un- blah, 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 all this crap. Blah, 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 blah. Just keep in mind, one thing that I've noticed in throughout my life is that the people that are the noisiest, the people that are so adamant about pointing the finger are usually the ones with the most crap in their closet. So just look around and see who's making the most noise, who's the most angry. Those are probably people that have a lot of bullshit in their, in their past or in their lives right now. And the best way to keep people from looking at you is to get them looking at somebody else. Just remember that. All right. All right, you guys, I'll be back probably tomorrow with a little more serious stuff. Again, Lochte, call me, bud. If you're interested in any of this stuff, we can make it happen. I'm here to help, bud. Superstars, fallen stars, just regular folks. I'm here to help. I'll talk to you guys soon. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Fuck, man, I'm going.